What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to transfer music from Google Play Music to YouTube Music. Now, if you haven't heard, Google has ended support for Google Play Music and moving everything to YouTube Music. This leaves us as users with two options. The first option is to download your entire music library from Google Play Music. Your second option is to transfer your music from Google Play Music to YouTube Music, which is what we'll be covering in this video. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before we get into the actual transfer process from Google Play Music to YouTube Music, we wanna make sure that we have the latest app version of YouTube Music. Now, this is important because it ensures you have all the latest app features as well as the ability to transfer your music. Simply open the Google Play Store, look for the app, and check for an update and install if available. So here we are on my Pixel 4 XL, and my layout may look different because I'm using a custom launcher. So we're gonna start by looking for our YouTube Music app, and again, and this will vary depending on your phone. I have mine in this folder here and we're gonna open YouTube Music. Now you can see that this defaults to portrait mode. There isn't a landscape mode on this part of the screen, which is the home screen. That's kind of a bummer. And I'm hoping there will be an app update that will change that. So that being said, I had to switch this video to portrait mode. So that is why the change happened here. That's why the video looks a little different now, just because of the app. Now in the top right hand corner is our avatar. And this is a circle with an image inside that you have pre-selected to represent represent yourself. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now this brings up more of your information with a list of options. Next we're going to look for settings and click on that option. Now this brings up a new page with a longer list of options. So we're going to look for transfer from Google Play Music and click on that option. Now tapping on this item brings you to the transfer option and status page. So we're going to go ahead and click on transfer from Google Play Music. Now, as you can see, there is a list of items here and it looks like you could uncheck them, but I actually tried to do this and you can't actually uncheck any of them. So when you do a transfer, it's going to do all the items listed here. Now, maybe this is your first time doing a transfer, but if you're like me, you may have purchased more music after the last transfer and you may have to do the transfer again. So at the bottom, we have transfer again. We're gonna tap on that. Now, as you can see, while the transfer is going on here, you have loading items icons at all the different items on the menu and once they are completed like this first option here music recommendations the loading icon goes away so all of these will start to go away but you can actually explore the music app while all this is happening so you can see we can navigate the app as our transfer progress is ongoing and if we navigate back to the top here we're gonna have a status bar it says see your library transfer progress and if we tap on the info icon we can actually see how far this has come now I've already done this before so I'm not adding a whole lot so this takes about five minutes for me to complete but if you're doing this for the first time this may take a few hours so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it and found it useful please leave a like if you have any questions or comments as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them now comments may also be featured on my Instagram stories as my way to show my appreciation and just share topics with other people now there are three ways you can support the channel the first way is to click on my Amazon on storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by clicking on that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.